Why are most people living other people's lives? Why are they not living their own life, but why are they often led externally? 16th of July 2024, hey my name is Dennis and today I had an interesting talk with my mentor and I want to quickly share a learning with you. So if you look around at your surroundings, at the most people that you probably know, right? Maybe it might be from school, maybe in your environment um, or your work environment or in general if you look outside on the streets, you would realize that most people are living through according to the seven deadly sins. And according to Dr. David Hawkins, most of the people are living in the low emotions, right? Desire, anger, grief, apathy, shame and guilt, all of those emotions, right? Most people are constantly living in those low emotions. But why is that? This is because most people are being led externally and often without exceptions, like constantly day in and day out, they are led by external factors, external things. Let's take the normal person, normal employee, by two works or somebody else. Every day, like Monday to Friday, nine to five, he's receiving orders what he has to do, right? And he has to follow those orders. What happens then, then he might listen to the news, right? And the news are like putting in their information, maybe forming his opinion about things. Again, something externally that shapes his, his world, his, his reality, his, his opinions. Next, he might then go into social media and uh, yeah, look at some funny things and like receiving again input from the outside, guided through external things instead of creating his own fun in life. Their friends, their family, Maybe those people, those, those friends, are angry at them like, or act emotionally in some way. What, what do most people do? They react to that, right? Because they never learned how to differentiate between what is their emotional state and what it has to do with their actions, right? Because if those people, their friends, are angry, this says, says nothing about them, but it says everything about the other person. They might trigger the anger, but are never the cause of the anger because the anger is always inside of them. If you want more insights on that, I recommend you the books of Dr. David Hawkins. And if you look at this, then the conclusion is what you realize, okay, those people or most people are living the life of a third person, right, of somebody else. Because they're constantly reacting, they're never active. They're always reacting to somebody else, living their lives, living the life of the news, of the people, some people that like, are at the other end of the world are living the lives of their friends and family and reacting to them, are living the life of their, the people on social media. So those people are literally not even living their own life. But this would also offer the question, okay, why are those people so interested in the life of other people? Why do they find so much joy in that and so much joy in, the, in those destructive things that are happening outside? And why are they reliving this war happening in Ukraine, right? Okay, but why do you have to constantly talk about this and constantly also live through this how bad this person is or the other person and they are fighting each other, right? Because there's not, nothing won by that, by talking about this and living through those negative emotions. Nothing is wrong, nothing has changed, nothing is improved. So literally, there's no positive impact. But why are those people living through those negative things? Again, even though it's not their beer, as we say in German. And this is because most lives are super monotonous and boring. Most lives of the normal average person is boring. And why is that? Why is it so boring? This is also what my mentor said, and this is interesting to me, so I wanted to share it here. Because they never ever put the time and the effort in to create a life that is not boring. They were always reactive, and they never were proactive in creating a life that was interesting enough for them not to need external stimulus to make their life interesting. So the key essence is to stop being so reactive in life, but start being proactive creating our own value, putting our value into life and not like trying to take value from others, trying to live other people's lives, but start living our own lives to achieve more and to be way happier. All right, I appreciate that you watched until the end. For everybody who's new to the channel, my name is Dennis and I'm building my business in sales right now because I wanna live free and travel the world. Right now we are in Medellin, Colombia in some co-working space that was about to close in a second, so we have to leave. And here on YouTube, I wanna document everything, like the whole journey, um, the ups, the downs, and of course the learnings in between those ups and downs. So if this is interesting, you can consider subscribing and then we might see each other in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take some action.